stay up. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am back with yet another room transformation. So you're probably thinking, Mackenzie, what do you mean you're doing another room transformation? Didn't you just update your room in the middle of quarantine? The answer is yes. Did I like that transformation in the very beginning? Yeah, absolutely. She was giving me everything that I wanted in a room. Did she stand the test of time? Absolutely not, absolutely not. Miss Cross stayed on our wall for a solid six, seven months. And halfway through that, I was ready to just take the whole thing off. I don't know, I think I liked it for the first little bit because it was new, it was fun. I was like, oh, this is this is a new change and it felt great. And then I, I realized that gold crosses on my wall was not, <laughs> it was just not for me and it's not ever going to be. <laughs> So Josh and I had a moment of saying to each other, look, <laughs> this needs to change. We're in yet another lockdown. What are we gonna do? Naturally, our first instinct is to always redecorate. So that's what we did. We redecorated the entire room. And um, now I'm here to show you that process and exactly what we did. So basically this is what the room looked like before. We had our crosses on the wall. It was a very like pink and green vibe, very, I don't even know what the term for that aesthetic would be. We decided to go a different route and this is what we did. This is what we did. We said goodbye to pink and green and gold and hello to the warmest, comfiest bedroom you've ever seen. The very first thing that I thought to do and did was update the ottoman. I have this gorgeous ottoman gifted to me from my mother. It's an ottoman that she's had in her family for some time now and she passed it on to me. And when she gave it to me, she put a gorgeous green velvet covering on the top of the ottoman, which was great for the room that we had before. When we decided that we wanted to change the vibe, it was the only piece of furniture that didn't fit within our neutral color palette and, and theme. So I was like, let's just order some canvas from Amazon and I will staple gun it and we will reupholster it ourselves. And I did it. We did it. We <laughs> It looks beautiful. Yeah, then from there we styled it. We styled it with a beautiful gold tray and just a little candle to keep things simple. And this really was the start of this beautiful room transformation. From there, we started working on the bed and the vanity, but what happened first was the vanity. I loved the mirror that we had in here, but I wasn't too sure about the color. And I was like, what do we do? Like we hadn't figured out a color palette yet. So the, the mirror went through a couple, a couple transformations before we got to the place that it's at now. She definitely has seen a few lives. She's lived, she's lived through quite a bit and she's here today to be the gorgeous makeup vanity that she is. So we painted it just a different shade of gold. <laughs> She started as a as a gorgeous like white gold-ish color, very like muted. And then we painted her black. That didn't go so well. Uh, I don't know where that idea came from. I don't know what was going on, but uh, it happened. And then Josh and I said enough's enough. <laughs> Let's go back to gold, but a different gold. So we got a little bit more of like a like a coppery gold, but not not too copper. But anyways, we did we we did her all up, and then we put these really really simple led lights all the way around that are it, honestly they don't stand out too much which is great but when you turn them on they are super super bright and are great for doing my makeup so we put those around the inside of the mirror and then from there i just got another makeup mirror because my old makeup mirror was silver and we were going gold and i really didn't want to mix metals so we ended up deciding to get a very neutral makeup mirror that's just like a nice um light wood color that i got from amazon it was super cheap but like white durable very nice like very heavy and yeah she is doing me well and i am quite satisfied with that whole combination and obviously put my makeup brushes back on and everything just came together so nicely on to the bed this I think of all the furniture pieces, this was mine and Josh's favorite thing to do. We wanted to have just the most inviting, comfy bed. And I really, really, really think that we succeeded with what we did. We started with looking for sheets and a duvet. Now, let me tell you, you'd think that buying sheets and a duvet would just be, it's a no brainer. You need sheets and a duvet. Everyone has sheets and a duvet. So you'd think it would just be so simple. Um, We were sadly mistaken, it wasn't. 
wasn't. It wasn't simple whatsoever. In fact, it was the most grueling process of this entire thing. We started out with looking at duvets that were like a very nice like tan linen very calm whatever and I was like this is great this looks comfortable awesome however the colors on Amazon never ever match and there's no in store shopping and obviously I'm not gonna go to another region to shop for a duvet because that's ridiculous so we went back and forth um with whether or not we wanted like a patterned uh, sort of statement duvet or if we just wanted a plain white duvet we landed on a plain white duvet and here is why we figured that who knows we like to redecorate let's just say we decide in a year from now we don't like what's going on here having a plain white duvet was going to be just the easiest way to transition from aesthetic to aesthetic depending on like what changes and I don't want to be wasteful I don't want to get a whole new duvet just because I want to change my room that just seems very very wasteful we settled on an, on a white duvet and we settled on these gorgeous like sort of corally pinky orangey sheets that really acted as the statement for just like the sheets and the like the bedspread duvet whatever and brought in that color without it being like too overpowering and what we did to make the bed so comfortable and have the base be so comfortable was we layered two white duvets on top of each other to give it that like lovely fluffy lived in feeling and it was the best decision ever also if you live with your significant other and you experience the sheets being stolen often and when i say often i mean every single night <laughs> get two duvets it will seriously be the best <laughs> the best best choice that you make i am not the only one who steals <laughs> the duvet and don't try and make it seem that way he does steal them a lot i also steal them as well but um we both move around in our sleep quite often the duvet goes everywhere so having two duvets has been great it, i two no this is four two duvets has been great to the throw pillows the throw pillows the throw pillows we were looking on h&m home because I am really a sucker for H&M Home. They've got some great stuff in there. And they have lots of like collections where they pull pieces that obviously fit within the same vibe, same aesthetic. So we picked three beautiful throw pillows, two that were like a cottony linen, um, one that had like a nice little fringe that's behind me right here, this like gorgeous um, cream, almost like a grayish, like grayish color with this like, just gorgeous fringe around it to give it a nice like um texture without being too much this beautiful burnt orange color and in like the natural like linen fabric and then this really cute pink pillow with like the tassels and the yarn and it just i don't have enough good things to say about the h&m home throw pillows that we chose they look freaking great this brought us to throw blankets i love a throw blanket i really do they make me so happy they make a room look so 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 cozy this is why i was so happy about the orange pillow because we found a gorgeous orange waffle knit throw that went so beautifully and added the perfect amount of texture to our bed and the perfect amount of coziness to also be paired with our pink Ikea knitted throw blanket that we already had. So that just brought all of the texture we needed on top of this gorgeous fluffy white duvet base with the beautiful corally like sleeping pillows. It just wow the marriage of these colors and textures i cannot get enough of it's so cozy to sleep in at night and it really was like the folk it has become the focal point of this bedroom all the texture on the bed really inspired texture in other places i really 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 am enjoying the natural toned linens and cottons and macrame has been a really great way to bring that into a room whether that be a macrame hanging plants or like a wall hanging macrame and i actually got both of those so i got these on amazon in like packs and i put some fake plants in them over top of my side table makeup storage area and it really filled the space next to the makeup area which used to have a clock and the clock was nice 
but the shape of the clock was just not doing it for the room anymore. So this just seemed like a very cohesive choice considering all the other choices we've made in the room. In addition to the macrame, we also put these gorgeous prints up on the wall, very boho, very warm prints that we got from Etsy. We put them up next to our bed and this really solved our problem that we had when it came to this large, large wall. This large wall was the reason for putting the crosses on the wall to begin with. This is such a large blank space and we wanted to fill it in a way that would still feel cozy without like cluttering everything too much. And these prints with the like invisible frames that we literally got from the dollar store. It was the perfect, perfect choice. And I cannot say enough good things about these prints. Funny enough, these prints that are on the wall, actually one of the motivators for Josh starting his very own print and home decor Etsy shop. So I will leave the link down below so that you can go check out all of his prints as well as the prints that we put up. These prints were not made by Josh. They were made by another great artist on Etsy, but um, that artist was really um, a large inspiration in why Josh started doing his prints. So yes, I will leave both their links down below and you should go and check them out. You should go and check out the different collections that Josh has made, they're all inspired by people in his life. So there's a collection of that is inspired by me. So if you like my aesthetic and things that I enjoy, you may really like this collection. And the other prints are inspired by people that I've talked about in these videos before. So you should definitely go and check them out. I'm so proud of him and the collections are just so, so gorgeous. Okay, finally, we are at the final step of this room transformation. Once the prints, the macrame, all of the throw pillows and throw blankets were all placed in the room. This was our time to add the final touches on everything and just the little things that don't really serve much of a purpose except for decorating. <laughs> we put some vases around the room. Now these vases were just um, some clear glass bottles that we found and we painted with paint and baking powder to give it this like gorgeous terracotta feel. We also added some eucalyptus on the wall behind our bed, obviously fake eucalyptus because eucalyptus is dangerous for animals. And as you know, we have two animals, so we don't want them being in any harm because of our choice to have eucalyptus in the house. Those pieces really polished off the entire room transformation. So yeah, here is a final look at the beautiful uh, room transformation I am so, so, so in love with the way that it looked. I can't believe we were able to turn the room from what it was to what it is now. And I just love this space. I'm a firm believer that your space takes a toll on you as a person. And so when your space is an area that brings you genuine joy and you feel safe and happy in those environments, it makes a world of difference in your everyday mood. And... I genuinely feel that since changing this room around and updating it and it was absolutely worth all the time and energy and money spent on making this room what it is now. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this transformation. I know I love watching room transformation videos and I hope that you guys enjoyed them just as much as I do. Let me know what you think. I would love to talk anything home decor. <laughs> Just as much as I love kitchen stuff, I also love home decor. I don't have anything else to say except for I love you guys so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Come and be a part of this beautiful, positive family we have over here. And yeah, until next time.